The two lessons spread to us is God in the Father and Son in the, fa in the Father and Father in the Son. You know our Lord Jesus Christ said something in, Ma in, in John chapter 14 verse 10. Read that place for me quickly. Believest thou not don't you believe that, that I am in the Father? That I am in the Father? And the Father in me. And the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you. Thank you. I come to see that the prophecy of Joel is about the fulfillment of the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. Said by so, Paul, the book of Joel is going to be the fulfillment of what Paul has brought out in Romans. Anybody who sees the lesson of the day, that Joel, and it shall come to pass, it shall come to pass in that day. In that day, that the mountains what day? Down. Hold it. In that day, what day? In the yeah. day that Jesus Christ will complete, <laughs> will fulfill the opening of the book seal in Revelation chapter 5. Don't go there. I'm only telling you the book is there. Sealed that no one was ready to open. Yes. Even the elders in the altar of God begin to share tears. And somebody said, don't share tears. There is somebody here who is going to open that book. Now that Jesus Christ completed his task of fulfilling it, that is the day. And that is the day you are now he has come to save us. The salvation role is now in your hand. Like the service David said, the line has now fallen into our hands in a good place. Hey, we have a good heritage. That is the day. The day of that good heritage is what we are now. Well, go ahead. The person will read the lesson now. Thank you. Um, and it shall come to pass. And it shall day, come to pass that, in that day. That the mountain shall drop down new. I have explained that day. That day, good things will begin to come from all the mountains. Amen. Who is answering amen? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that day has come. And that is there you are in now. That is the time you are in now. Our Lord Jesus Christ has come to put us into in that day. The next coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, he is coming as a judge. He's no more coming to put us in this happy time of learning from him. Knowing him, enjoying him, overcoming the devil, and so on and so forth. That the way he will come now, he's coming again now, is on a different mission. So that we can know that this is the right day we should prepare for the day that is coming. This is the time that sweet wine is flowing down. He has overcome the world. Yes? And the hills shall flow with milk. Hills shall be flowing with milk. That is, you will never lack. Amen. You are in the time now when you will say, Jesus, in Jesus' name, bless it. You grab it. In Jesus' name, enemies, get up. They run away. This is the day. That's the fulfillment of prophets. Joel, he said it sometimes ago, and he said, on that day, yes? 
and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and a fountain. There will be no dry land. Amen. There will there will be no river that will be called oh there was water on it formerly now it's dry. That is your rivers will be flowing with waters. Amen. Your life will be flowing with blessings. Amen. Somebody must answer Amen very well. Amen. If you know the meaning of Amen, my God, you, 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 know, you, you answer it with every of your strength, especially in areas that you are permitted to make noise. Yes? And a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord and shall water the valley of the Lord. A fountain! <laughs> that is, there, there is go, there go, the, 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 the water will not just be flowing, the milk will not just be flowing. The wine will not just be flowing. A fountain. Who is that fountain? Jesus. Are you talking? Who is that fountain? Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 A fountain will flow from where? From where? Say, read it, read it, read it. The it's there. The Lord. It's, it will come from the house of the Lord. That is, it's coming. Continue. I have not asked you to sit down. Don't be tired. Yes. Don't be tired, brother. I apologize. Yes. And a fountain shall flow from the house of the from Lord. From the house of the Lord. And shall water the valley of The work of that fountain is that your blessings will not get dry. Yeah. Your ways will be filled with the goodness of God. Yeah. I say the dirty project in the hand of our Father, the head of Dowsis, our eminent man of God who has all much that God has deposited in him to drop out for, for the whole world. I saw the project that is ahead of this church. Where this church is moving to, I say, wow! I know you are the person. The Lord can use you more than that. Because I, I mean, you, that has been his interest all the way from Quora State and then uh, Kedja too and so on. I know him. Yeah? I was a state evangelist of Quora State one time and uh, I know God can be. I know the <laughs> The Lord has put his hand on that project and he has completed it in Jesus' name. I have never seen God promising and failing. That is why I know that the Lesser Church of Christ will close the world. Amen. He has said it. Oh, yes. He said it. I told them in Chicago that prophets, every one of us should gargle our loins this time around. Because we've not started at all. It's as if we have not started because I was there when Papa Oshawa said this church will be going to Every place, even many, many places that he would not understand their language and they would be using their language to conduct services in those areas. It was when God pushed me to Calabar that time that I know that, ah, truly God has fulfilled it. They are doing services in ethnic language and in video language all around there. Now, this Jerry Moyama, they will sing it in their language. It's only the name of the angels that will make you to know, yeah, that is Jerry Moyama. <laughs> We have not started. How many wives has accepted the church? The indigents of this area, the, the people whom we can refer to as indigents, not some of us that are indigents by paper. I mean, <laughs> biological indigents of this place. They have not started accepting the church. We've not, how many shepherds have we raised up from them? How many evangelists? How many prophets? I remember it took me seven years in Cross Cross State to raise an Indian prophet. And the moment one came up, they used to come and see they are the sons of the soils, they joined his race. And that was how the church grew up in the whole of that state. All along, when they come into the church, and I put my wife in spirit, they would say, the woman is talking, umbati, umbati. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the time the other one comes tomorrow, I want to open way for him. I put my junior brother now in London, Aki. That one can prophesy in English. They will say, this is, this is a foreign church. 
I begin to pray until the Lord gave me a prophet of that. That, the, that boy who God turned to be a prophet was the boy who used to carry their masquerade. Epe, 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 masquerade. The masquerade that you used to go and cut people with cutlass. Daylight. The boy came with the other second person. When I was doing certification for them, I saw a lot of things. The boy was, the eye, I said, close your eyes. He said, no. The eye was open until I finished prayers. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Immediately when I finished prayers and I gave grace, spirit caught him. I saw him fighting with the, with the bucket of the water. The spirit was using very, in his own second, second looking at him and said, ah. I'm sure there must be something they have said. We are coming to test these people. Why do you come here? What is the holy? What's, what's, what's that in your body? What's disturbing you? At the end of the day, Akamba Ani, he is the first prophet in ethnic language. And he, before he, 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 he became a senior evangelist shepherd in Celestial Church of Christ, before the Lord God called him back, called him to himself. The Abba of Calabar had to accept giving that boy the same anointment that I, I was having when Papa Oshofa visited Calabar in 1984. The Abba said, if you want me to give you, he gave us a very big land. You want me to accept your church, now that we have get paid big across the God, I have learned that this boy is Epic is one who directs you to know how you can connect your, your tour to my office. Why, do you, why can't you make him to be the second person with this soldier man that brought this church? Hallelujah. And Papa anointed him from Cape Prophet, Papa Joshua, him from Cape Prophet to assistant evangelist. Then I was an assistant evangelist. That was the year I was given full evangelist. It because he is now assistant evangelist. Children of God, we have not started working. We need to start to win souls, the images even, the people that are around. Then the glory and the goodness of God will continue to multiply in our lives in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes. Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom Look, shall at be... this time that Jesus Christ is reigning, at that time that the one that you will be enjoying the grace of Christ, the land of Egypt, I mean, that land that never welcomed God has been an antagonist to anything that is of God. I mean, you know what the Israelites suffered in the hand of the Egyptians. Yes, they will be desolate. That is, everyone that never wished us good will fall in Jesus' name. Amen. The enemies of our land will leave the doors. Amen. Yes. And Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. Huh? Edom shall be Edom, a Edom. desolate wilderness. Edom, Edom. God knows what happened to Edom. These are places that never welcome the presence of God. Anybody who do not want to see the goodness of God will be like that. Amen. Yeah, Edom. Um, for the violence against the children of Judah. Because, because of the violence they have done. Because of shedding the blood oh, of an innocent. That's where I want to stop that from. Then we go to second lesson. Yes? Yeah, because of the children of uh, Judah, because they have shed innocent blood. They yeah. have shed down innocent blood. We marked Easter last <coughs> Sunday. Sunday. You have seen the wickedness of the world on the Good Friday. Thanks be to God, from that last Sunday, that Christ now rules and will continue to rule. Amen. Your life will continue to be not the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. Go to the second lesson. Now I say that Jesus Christ. No, that's why I said the, 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 the lesson is the same. Can you see? And now we are in Jesus. We are in, we are in the time of our Lord Jesus Christ now. Now I say that. Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision. He is the minister now of the circumcision. For the truth of God. He is the minister. 
constitution is an act that gives one complete completion. It makes you to be a complete person. It makes the whole world to know your name. You know that was done to our Lord Jesus Christ on the A-Day. That is the language. When, 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 when the, the spiritual language is coming out, very many of it comes out in proverb. It makes you to be recognized. It gives you a different name. It makes people to reckon with you. The minister of circumcision, the minister that has come to unite the Gentiles to the believers. The minister that comes to remove our sins and our iniquities. Yes? To, con to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Because there are promises that is already made by in all the Old Testament. One of those promises is what we have just read in Joel. Yes? And that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. And because this minister is filled with mercy. This minister is going to wear the complete character of God. That is why I was saying, ah, why is it I am in the Lord and my God is in me? That minister will not do anything without the without the, without God. That is where I quickly flash back to see that. If then you want to serve in the kingdom of that minister, you must have God and that minister in you too, because he himself cannot do anything without God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will therefore add it to your understanding that you will take hope today that every one of us now is tied to walk with God. Stop working for God. There is difference in working for God than working with God. From now onward, oh, when you want to pray, because we still pray after the sermon, pray that God, I want to walk with you. I don't want to walk for you. <laughs> Ministers of God's kingdom have been working for God. And when you work for, you leave the work there. You are bound to do high service if you are working for. But from now onward, Pray that you walk with God. Because Jesus Christ walked with God. He has success also. And I look at how even from the time God himself was sending Moses and sending others, he has always been instructing them to walk with him. Exodus chapter 3, verse 11 and 12. Look, let me tell you the difference. If you walk with God, it means that you are in God and God is in you. If you wake up in the morning, tell God, in all that I'm going to do today, come and walk with me, oh my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Moses said unto God. Moses said unto God. Who am I? Who am I? That I should go to How can I go to Pharaoh? And that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. Who am I to bring the children of God from, the, from Pharaoh? Yes. And he said, and God said, certainly, certainly, I will be with thee. Certainly, I will be with you. If Moses was not with God, he wouldn't have been able to succeed. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. When you walk with God, success will flow, will be yours in all that you do in Jesus' name. Amen. Baba is walking with God here. Yeah, come and see him. When I saw the project, I said, this one is already, it's a completed program already. Amen. 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 Walk with God. Don't walk for God. If you 
you work for God, you will take your wages and you go. And God will still be where he is. And where you are going, whatever you see, is your own problem. But if you work with God, God will go with you. God will be with you. Anytime you look around yourself, you will see God. That is the momentum thing you take. Walk with God. David, walk with God. In First Samuel chapter seventeen, verse thirty-four to thirty-seven, quickly. If David would have walked only for God, he wouldn't have been able to defeat. Joshua, walk with God, please. Joshua chapter one, read verse eight. I know you, you know all what I'm saying. This book of the law, this book of the law, shall not depart out of thy mouth, uh -huh. for thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest. Verse five, verse five. five. There shall not be any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. Understand? Okay, so you can understand it. Start from verse four. Okay. From the wilderness yes. and this Lebanon, yes. even unto the great river, yes. the river Euphrates, yes. all the land of the Hittites, yes. and unto the great sea, yes. throughout the going down of the sun, yes. shall be your coast. Yes. There shall not be any man. No man, because I'm going to war with you, Joshua, after Moses. Yes. Be able to stand before thee. No man will be able to stand before you when you are working with God. All the days of your life. All the days of your life. As I was with Moses. As I was with Moses. So I will be with thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God did not say work for me. He said, as I was with Moses, so, so I will be with thee. As I was with Papa Oshoba, so Baba Allah I will be with you. That's yeah. the word of God. Yeah, and that cathedral you show me that what do I call that church? That, that, that very big land. God knows the name that the, the, church, the church is going to be, whether Basilica, whether a cathedral, whether name. God will complete his work in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I thank God that when the, it was time for God to send me into this side of the country, of the world, I am already an old man. <laughs> because authority is in my tongue now. Anything I say comes to pass. Yeah. Even though it has been so early, that time I might be proud of it. But this time it is real because I have nothing again that I am looking forward to become than to enter into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Sincerely. Hallelujah. Somebody saw me in Chicago and said, Oh, she shed tears. I said, Why are you crying? He said, I am shedding tears because of your friend and people. They would why do you not allow people like that to go around and come and assist the work of God? That what they are doing here. Oh, but God has another accumulator here. And the work will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I don't want to go to that area because I don't want to waste time on someone. <laughs> yes? Okay. Joshua, I will finish this. I will, I will not fail thee. I will not fail you. Nor forsake thee. I will not forsake you. Be strong. Be strong. And have a good courage. And have a good courage. For unto this people. That is how, that is what made Joshua to be able to come out successfully. Ah, you will have your success in Jesus' name. Amen. Read the David for me now, David. Verse 17, first, first, Samuel, first Samuel chapter 17, verse 34 to 35. And David said unto Saul, And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. Yes, and there because Saul was telling David that David will not be able to defeat the Goliath. <laughs> then David now wants to tell uh, Saul that, Look, when I was keeping my father's sheep, uh -huh. And there came a lion and a bear. There came a lion and bear. And took a life out of they the They took flock. life from yes. And I went out after him. I went after the lion and the bear. And smote him. And I smote it. And delivered it out of the And I mouth. delivered that my that that my lamb. lamb. From it, yes. When he arose against me, when he arose against me, that yeah, human being coming to collect water, what to eat. 
Yes, that I, is lion. I caught him by the bear. Yes, and smote him. I smote him. And slew him. I slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. Yes, and this uncircumcised Philistine. Yes, and therefore this uncircumcised Philistine. That is what I told you. That's why I told you the meaning of circumcision, as it was mentioned there, that Jesus Christ is the minister of the. This uncircumcised Philistine. Yes. Shall be as one of them. Shall be like that lion that I destroy, I kill. Seeing he has defied the armies of the because Lord. Because he is defiling the army of the, the Lord. Lord. God will fight for you. Amen. I used to laugh at people who try to uh, uh, fight for themselves. Who, to, who wants to avenge for themselves. Don't you know, as a servant of God, if anybody is against you, is in trouble, you better look for that person and begin to pray for him or her. And may God forgive you. Jesus Christ always says, God, they are in trouble. Yes. That even they come up to go against you, they are in problem. Yes. Their way is already darkened already. Amen. So you don't even need to fight. Because you, by the time you, 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 you say, eh, eh, you do this to me, eh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to retaliate. My God, your God will look at you and say, you want to repent it? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Always walk with God. The topic you take home now is walk with God. Jesus Christ will always say, don't you know that all that I am doing, I'm not the one doing it, it is Father in me. Paul Apostle says, it is Father in me. He who is in me is greater than you. It is because Christians begin to look at themselves very mean. You look at yourself as if, as if you are alone. Or you have decided to walk alone. You have decided to walk for God. You are not walking with God. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 8. You can start from verse 5. Jeremiah. Before I formed thee, before I form you, I knew thee. I knew you. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, before you even come out from the womb, I sanctified thee. I sanctify you. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the I have nation. ordained you as a celestial to the whole world, to cleanse the world. Yes. Then said I, Ha, Lord God, behold. You know, as you are hearing it now, you begin to doubt yourself, yeah? He said that we are to go and cleanse the world. And me, I don't know how to preach. That man who was preaching, he knows how to preach. I don't know, I'm not a prophet. But I just see myself, it's what maybe it's my salvation that I have come for. No. So very many weak people are called to come and shake those two things. They are stronger. Yes? Be be behold, I cannot speak. For I, I cannot am a speak. Child. I am a stammerer. For I'm a child. I'm a child. But the Lord said unto me. But the Lord said unto Jeremiah. Say not. Say not unto you that child. you are hearing today. Don't say you are a child. But Don't say you are small. Don't say you are not the one that will bring the Celestia into all the uh, white male country. No. Don't say. You are the one that is, has been arranged to do it. Yes. But thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. Everywhere that God will send you, you will go there. Amen. You will have every authority to go there. Amen. You have every money to use there. Amen. You have every wealth to do there. Amen. Yes. Whatsoever I command thee. But whatever I command you, thou shalt speak. You will speak. Be not afraid. Don't say your own. Don't talk your own. Don't tell lies. Whatever God said. You should speak. That's see, God has his own character. When we resemble him, we are him. Tell somebody if I resemble him. If I, resemble him I want you him. to say, if I resemble him, I, resemble I, am, him. Him. I am him. I am him. That's the language. Yes. Be not afraid of their faces. Don't be afraid of any face. For I am with thee. Because I am with you. So that is why Jeremiah decided to walk with God. There's no way he cannot prophesy. Very many prophets now, they get afraid even to make prophecy. Because, you know, what is the fear there? If God sends you, no fear. Amen. Yes? To deliver thee, uh -huh. said the Lord. I am going to deliver you, said the Lord. 
Then the Lord put forth his hand. Come and see the assignment. Hmm. Come and see the little assignment that he, that that makes uh, Jeremiah to be powerful. He put his hand. And touched my mouth. I only touched the mouth like this. Please, can you look at me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the Lord said unto me. And he said unto you. Behold. Behold. I have put my words in thy mouth. By touching his mouth, only touching. Mm. I have put in my words into your mouth. The last word will continue to work in your mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. Very simple as I Yes. See. See. I have this day uh, set thee over the nation. I have set you over the nation. And over the kingdoms. I have set you over the kingdoms. To root out. You are going to root out. And to pull down. And you are going to put them down. And to destroy. Hallelujah. And to throw down. And throw down. To build. Come and see the power and power Jeremiah. Because God was with him. Now that God is with you, you will liberate. Amen. He will rule all. Amen. He will have all. Amen. The power of God will walk with you. Amen. I'm going to stand perfect on how I'm going to pray over it that today every one of us we we'll continue to walk with God and God will stand in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Come and see Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel chapter 3. Read quickly. From verse 20 to 22. And he commanded the most mighty men. He commanded the most, you know all the story of that Sh uh, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes. When a very tough fire was made for him, for that day, you know all, that is why we just read, read from verse 20. Yeah? Now the king commands the most powerful men. That's when his army. Where his army. To bind Shedrach. Don't forget that before now, Nebuchadnezzar was very, very angry with the statement of these three people. When the three people told him that the God who is with us, whom we serve, will deliver us. If it be so, yes. our God whom we serve, our God whom we serve, is able to deliver, is able to deliver us from this burning fire, from all your body fire, and He will deliver us out of thine hand, O okay. King. Because of this statement, anger kindles the heart of children, and He said they should make that fire in seven folds hotter. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the fire was so hot that it has to consume the people that throw the three men into the fire. And before three men can be thrown into the fire, how many people, how many people will throw them into the fire? Yeah? Who says this? Please clap for Jesus. Are, are, you, are you a military man? Because I was a military man. And before you can throw one person, that person even after tightening them, you will carry the shoulder. One person will carry the shoulder and one will carry the leg. And they will, they will first of all let's do it like this. So, and throw into the fire. The Bible tells us that the three people, the one, two, 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 that is two, two persons to one person. Six people died. In Santa, in the course of throwing them into the into the fire, that is how your enemies will die before you. So that you know you have God. That's why you must not fight for yourself. Children, my children, and Abednego could not fight for themselves. But somebody is somewhere whom they are working with. All what it tells you is work with God, work with Christ. He is for you. That is why. You will be having your wine and your milk Amen. very peacefully. Amen. Begin to walk with that person. Yes? Um, to cast them to the burning yeah. fiery furnace. Yes, yes. And those men were bound in their coats, yes. th their hosen, yes. and their hats, yes. and their other garments, yes. and were cast into the midst of the burning yes. fiery furnace. Yes, you know, Bible has to explain all this so that you will know that something that can catch fire, that can, that can, that is, that is, can easily get burned. Yeah. 
it's in their body, the clothes, the everything. Yes. And those three men. These three men. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Fell down, bound into the midst of the burning. They fell down into the fiery furnace. Yes. That Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. The king was astonished. Was astonished. And rose up in our head. He rose up. And spake. And said unto his counselors, yes. Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Is it not three cast into the fire? They answered and said unto the king, they answered True, O oh king. No king. He answered and said, uh -huh. Lo, no. I see four men loose. I can see four men loose. Walking in the midst of the fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody will tie you and bound you. Amen. You are already loose. Amen. You are losing to the glory of God. Amen. And they have no hurt. Mm -hmm. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. The form of the fourth is as the Son of God. The first person to pronounce Lord Jesus Christ when he was yet unborn, Son of God, is King Nebuchadnezzar. Should we, should, we, should we all call him Prophet Nebuchadnezzar? <laughs> Hallelujah! Is that happened to Daniel? Quickly. Chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6 verse 21 to 24. When Daniel got into the lens of the, uh, the, the lens of, of lion, because God was with Daniel, the lions and lioness were looking at God. They were no more looking at Daniel. They were looking at God, their creator. And it's not possible for you to begin to eat your creator. Am I talking to somebody? Yes! Yes. Then said Daniel unto the king. Send unto the king. Oh. And this time around, you know what happened? The king is happens to be a friend to Daniel. Very intimate friend. He did all that is within him to set Daniel free. Automatically, our Savior is not on earth here. The only person that can set you free is Christ. So don't say you have a king. You might be the wife to Obama. When it is time, Obama will not be able to save his wife. Yes. Get it right. That is why you see, no matter how rich you are, you have to fall on the Savior who can save you. He can bankrupt you under a second. The whole world can bankrupt under one minute. So he who can make your money to get last with you is no other person than God. So be with him now. Tell somebody I'm ready to work with you. I'm ready to work Are you sure? Yes. Am I not forcing you? No. Work with Christ. Yes. O oh, King, live forever. Yes. My God has sent his angel oh. and has shut the lion's mouth. Has shut the lion's mouth. That they have not hurt me. They have not hurt me. For as much as before his innocence was found because in me. Because why? One thing is this. Innocence. Innocence must be found in you. That you hold onto Christ and Christ is eh, not holding with witches and wizards with Christ. <laughs> I know those, those all those useless athlete powers are not here. But if they are here, tell them that they are useless. Yeah, useless. Yeah, useless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And also, and also before thee, okay. Oh. Have I done no hurt? Uh -huh. I have not done any hurt. That is, he has not hurt God, he has not hurt his neighbor. Those are the two things that justify Daniel. He has not hurt the king. He has not hurt the neighbors. He has not hurt God. Why would he not be justified? Yes. Then was the king exceeding glad for him. He was very happy. And commanded that Because he is a friend of the king. Yes. And commanded. Quickly is king now. His friend now that will fight for Daniel. You know, he quickly that they should bring him out. Take Daniel up out of what, the dead. Immediately they bring Daniel out. You know what the king did? The whole people who conspire, who told lies about him, every one of them were sent to go and visit the lion. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And before all the enemies got down, they were not, they were in the fact, lions were come. We've been hungry since yesterday that uh, Daniel was here. Daniel, Daniel was not a fool. Ah, they ate. Oh, that is how your enemies will be destroyed. In the same manner, I don't want to waste much time. You all know all the apostles. Peter walked with God when he's moving, his shadow was healing people. 
Ordinary human being, you cannot, your shadow cannot do anything. But God was with him. To run it up, children of God, as you will all stand with me when I finish this statement, to face the altar of God and request the grace of God. Papa or Shofa, in this our lifetime, walk with God. And uh, we can see what God was doing in his life. Do you know that nobody carried out revival during Papa's time? Because the most powerful, the most powerful ministration among this our clergy duty is revival. Revival is where God Himself, God Himself is the greatest revivalist. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. He came into the world and he saw that everywhere in the world was no place to call. He doesn't even know what to do to, 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 to use in, 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 in qualifying it. Genesis chapter 1, verse, verse 1 and 2. He doesn't know how to really qualify it. Yeah? In the beginning, God created. When he was the world, yes? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Uh -huh. And the earth was without form. It was without form. Uh -huh. that, and nobody is here that cannot recognize. If you have any problem now, you know the problem. You know the problem. Those who want children, God will give you children. Amen. Those who want peace, God will give you peace. Amen. But this is a problem that God, God has come to see that has no form. He couldn't know what to call the problem. Yes? It was void. It was void. And darkness was... The funniest thing to make it compacted is that darkness was covering everywhere. And with darkness, what can anything, anybody see? You see the problem that God, came, the Spirit of God come to meet? He now stood and said, yes, I am called the great revivalist. And he decreed. The first thing he decreed was light. Yeah. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of Moved upon the face, yes. And God said, I said, Let there be light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With light, he could identify everything. Yes. Verse 30 says, When he finished everything, all that God was has done was uh, good. That is the great revivalist. Therefore, I know if there is any problem that you are here with today, as God has given me the grace, I was not here yesterday. And I don't know how if I will be here today, tomorrow. I do anything I'm doing as if I'm doing the last thing. And I know this hour, this moment, today that you're here, you will not go back home with your problems. He will never yeah. 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 During that time of Papa Oshoba, he was the only revivalist. Nobody carried out revival. Because during a revival, all problems must be solved. Okay. And that is why God himself must come out and carry out that revival. If you are the one to go and pray and revive people, if it is fasting that can keep you steady, make sure you carry out fasting. You, if it's reading the Bible, whatever can stimulate you to become God in me, me in God, then you have to be in that position. It was by grace during that time of Papa Revival. Because God was with our Papa Oshofa, he will stand like this. <laughs> What do you he used to say? He will say, Enter you, mommy. Hallelujah. Because God was in him. This time around, there is still Tetu mommy in the altar there. Do you know why? It was only the last church of Christ that was given the altar that was shown to John in the island of Patmos. I laid this altar. When God gave us a portion of land one, somewhere in Cross Rural State, the second day, you know, after doing, after God has done a lot of great things in that revival. I was so surprised. Myself, I need to say, I must come back to Papa Bada. Papa Ade Combin to us. What used to, what is that power that is working in this church? That was what I had in my mind. But, Kalabato Ibado to Lagos is far. I said, until I get there. The second day, I had to go around the altar to go and be looking whether there is something a behind. house there or somewhere there. <laughs> because the place was shown to me as if there is a paradise somewhere there, and Baba who is walking always come from there and stand come and stand here. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is, that is the power in that seven candles that you see. That is time then about to issue uh, note out that nobody keeps altar stand, uh, three, seven candles stand in their house. The highest you do to anywhere you are not closer to the church is the three three. So by the time you stand up and you are looking at that place to pray, you don't know you are 31 minutes. You are faced, you are now opening. Because that time, I saw bring six people from all the way across River State to Lagos to meet Papa. And then I said, I said, Papa will say, King me Chorure. He will say, Now this Berlin will let me take him. I'm now 10 years with my husband and no sleep to kill. But put your hand. Tell your mom. First, that is look at me. Looking at God in Papa Oshava, the woman will hear some noises there. Prum, 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 prum. Papa said, anything again, go, you will take it. In fact, the woman will be asking me when we come down as a shepherd. She will turn on me. Is that, is that, yes? is that all? The second month, the woman is under pregnancy. Hallelujah. 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 Stand up, children of God. 